What's up, you guys? Thanks again for everything. Hope you're enjoying this season. Hope we get a lot more. But also, thank you for enjoying some of the new promotions. I appreciate you guys. You guys are so kind and so, so, so nice to me. So thank you. Um, we have another nice video right now. The beginning especially was awesome. I found a little waterfall that I've never seen before. So hope you hope you guys enjoy it. Enjoy the promo again, and uh, we'll see you soon. Enjoy the video. Yo, yo, my name is Nick, and I like the snow. I run things at Big Bear Weather and Mo. From the peaks to the valleys, I'm in the know. Bringing you the forecast wherever you go. Oh, yeah, did I mention that I have a site? BigBearWeatherMore.com. Oh, baby, that's right. Always make sure you tune into the live and like my videos and subscribe. <laughs> All right, you guys, it's February 20th, 2024. We're just outside in the little Arctic Circle out here. I just want everyone to see how it's, how it's really coming down over here. It's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. And then look what I found right here. I found a little waterfall and a little stream. I never knew it was here. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm telling you guys, this is just unbelievably beautiful. Never knew this was here. Obviously, when it snows, it will be here. But yeah, we got some good snow over here. There's quite a few inches of snow just outside of town. <clears throat> Remember right there, that's where you come into town. But yeah, this is just truly, truly amazing, guys. I'm excited about it. Let me clean off the lens here. absolutely beautiful I just I'm really shocked about this right here but we're gonna hop back in the car and cruise cruise back into town but again I just want to show you guys coming into town what it's like I just wish that we could maintain this heavy heavy to moderate snow I mean, look at these huge snowflakes all over. But let's see here. Let me put my phone over here. Bear with me, guys. All right, so we're going to make a Yui. We're going to have to be extra, extra caught. You know what? We're going to go up here a little further and then make a Yui. I don't want to turn in anyone's blind spot here. We are a good example. That's what I want to maintain. Look at this bad boy of a rock that came down. Jeez, imagine. So I don't know how far over I can go. But I know I can turn here. Okay. Here we go, guys. We're coming into town now. This is unbelievable, guys. And this is the most beautiful time to record the snow falling. I'm telling you guys, can't wait to see this video. You guys are gonna be so stoked. Definitely the heaviest snow we've seen yet out of this storm, which is good. Caltrans is requiring chains right now. Which is, it's so cool to drive up and they just give you the thumbs up like, you're cool, bro. So that's what happened. And again, we are here at the beautiful Big Bear Dam. And one more time, let me wipe off this real quick. Okay. It was pretty slick getting over here, guys, because temperature's 33 degrees. It's kind of a slushy, 
kind of moving you around the road wherever the snow wants you to go. So just be extra cautious coming in. But again, it's really important for me to show you guys this part of the drive as if you're coming into town. Oh yeah, it's just wonderful. Huge potholes everywhere, guys. I mean, be extraordinarily careful. You will have a bad time if you hit these potholes. And unfortunately, some of the ones that are pretty bad are covered by white. So, you, I mean, you, you've got to keep your eyes open. Of course you're going to while you're driving, but you know what I mean. you got to keep your eyes open, guys. But I wanted to capture this because it, this is the heaviest part of the last little push through of this part of the storm. And then a little bit more of the storm is going to come through in a few hours overnight. But that's not going to be much. If we're lucky, we could get one to three inches overnight but I'm not hopeful. I'm gonna maintain a positive attitude though, but I'm not hopeful. We're doing pretty good. We're not sliding like crazy, but I can feel it. I can definitely feel it a little bit every now and again. And if I'm feeling it in this vehicle with uh, my experience, then I, it's, it's really important for you guys to uh, um, please take heed to my warnings about being difficult to drive. Again, I'm, I'm not a professional. I'm, I'm no one special, but I do drive in these conditions constantly. And as far as I'm concerned, I think I'm pretty darn good at it. Living in the new I think we passed the cool looking rock. Jabba the Rock is what our friend Conrad calls it. I think, we, yeah, I think we did pass it, unfortunately. Here comes a snow pup up a plow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It looks like he's on that our side of the road. Jeez Louise, that was scary. Jeez Louise, that was scary. So we're gonna take this through the village and then we will be done with this video. I want you guys to see the snowiest part of town once again, when the snow is coming down. <clears throat> We haven't done the village yet today. Kind of odd, right? Well, we're about to. Also, guys, don't forget two two things. Obviously, hope you're enjoying the new promos and stuff. Makes me really, really proud that you guys are really enjoying it. So thank you. But go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com if you want to help support the channel. Get yourself some merch. Oh, look at these massive bottles. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, get yourself some merchandise, support the channel, <clears throat> wear your merchandise with pride. We've worked really hard, all of us together, guys, because this channel is nothing without you guys. And then don't forget, for your ski rentals and snowboard rentals, go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard. They will take care of you. You mentioned this channel, they will definitely take care of you. The owner, Tony, is, is just a wonderful man. The staff is just fantastic. Um, Please, I guarantee you, you guys will have a great experience there. And if you bring in your own equipment, your own skis and your own snowboards, you'll save $25 or more because they will wax your stuff for free. And all of you skiers and snowboarders know that waxing your skis and snowboards makes for a much better, a much better time out there. I mean, it's, it makes it a night and day difference out there. drive by my friend's house, I'm going to honk the train horn real quick. Just a quick little beep beep. 
Come here, babe. Just to say hello. Oh, give me a second. We're coming up to it. We're coming up to it. receiving a text any moment now either from him or other people hey was that you <laughs> I, I don't honk my train horn much guys I won't do it at nighttime I won't do it around people just standing out there it's usually only for like you know situations where I need to use it which is very rare take a little, we're going to pretend like there's a lot of traffic on the boulevard and take a shortcut into the village, or close to the village at least. Pretend like there's a lot of traffic here, guys. So we're gonna, as I said, take the shortcut to bypass all the traffic if there was. You'll just stay on this, you guys, until it comes out on Mill Creek. Pretty simple stuff. Oh, I love this time of day. end of the arctic circle the little arctic circle that was like a winter wonderland wasn't it guys that was incredible it's getting to be that way over here too here's one of the places i have on our four free sledding locations it's in the playlist that we have or go to bigbearweatherandmore.com and there will be a map and this is one of the four spots aspen glen picnic area There will be a map for the four free sledding locations plus that video for four free sledding locations on BigBearWeatherAndMore.com as well. So remember, we turned on Tulip, and now we are on Sawmill. Or wait, no, sorry, Mill Creek. I always confuse those. We're on Mill Creek Road now. And this drops us off really close to uh, the village. Drops you off next to a pay to sled site, which is still a lot of fun. Look at this pothole, look at this pothole. Look at that. So this is the Alpine Slide at Magic Mountain. Another fun place. Again, you have to pay to go here, but it, it's worth it. I think for 45 bucks, you can sled all day long. There's a motorized walkway that pulls you up to the top. It's worth it, it's worth it.
still 33 degrees. Snowing like this, it's so it's so gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Both of these hotels on the left here and on the right, I have these on my playlist as well under lodging. I've stayed in some of the nicer rooms here and I have everything about these places you need to know. The place on the left is a Holiday Inn Resort and the place on the right is called The Club at Big Bear Village which is a blue-green resort. Blue-green resort. The two colors, blue-green. That's my favorite resort up here, the blue-green, if I can afford it. We stayed there during during the summertime, and in one of the rooms that would usually be almost a thousand a night, I think we paid like two hundred and fifty a night in the just dead of summer when nothing was going on up here, and it was pretty cool. Beautiful. Again, it's in the lodging videos on the playlist called lodging. All right, here we go. I think tonight I'm gonna to go get some Himalayan. I'm craving some, some good Indian food. My favorite restaurant in Big Bear. You know what, maybe I'll take you guys down Big Bear Boulevard a little bit. So you guys can see what the boulevard's looking like at this point. It's no, no problem right now. Again, it might be a little bit slick, but the further we continue going to the right when we get down here to the boulevard, the further we go right, the less snow you're gonna come into. It's just how it works up here. But I'm still so impressed with that beautiful little waterfall that was created by this melting snow. It's so beautiful over there in the little Arctic circle. Oh yeah, here we go. Back on the boulevard, watch out for potholes. Watch out for the potholes. And here they are. They are everywhere. Massive ones as well. I mean, look at these. seen enough of the boulevard we're gonna take a little uh, uh yeah I think we, we might take take the back streets to get down to uh, what should we call it we're gonna go to the grocery store right now so we're gonna take some of the side streets here I'm, I'm sorry I keep on mentioning them, but it's uh, it's it's really, 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 really bad. 
Not as bad as it was last season, but it's really bad. Oh, it's so pretty, guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh. So we are on a street called Eureka. That's the street that is between McDonald's and... Uh, what's on the other side? Well, McDonald's. You'll turn on, turn on that street. And we're not going to go far. We're going to turn right here on Park Avenue. This is Swan. Sorry guys, Swan Drive. Like a cute little swan. Stoplight will be Big Bear Boulevard, and that is where we need to be going. But again, we just took uh, Eureka to Park Avenue, turned right on Park Avenue, and then turned left on Swan, and that's what we were on. And now I think this is technically Fox Farm Road. So a lot of our roads up here, guys, change into some other name. It's confusing sometimes, especially when you first move here. So again, guys, usually when there's bumper to bumper traffic, these are ways you can save yourself a heap of time. And I'm super happy to show you guys and help you guys out. What's up, brother? How you doing, bro? I'm just making a video right now. forget thank you for being here i appreciate it i appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to watch these videos hang out with me go over to the live feed it's still going it's going to be going till tomorrow morning um and yeah please hit the like and subscribe button help the channel out share the videos all that stuff really really does help the channel grow you never know who might see it and it possibly bring them a lot of joy uh, so please please consider doing that for me and as I said, and also go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com if you want to support the channel like that. Get yourself some merchandise and wear it with pride.
And thank you, thank you. I don't know if we'll be doing another video tonight. Obviously tomorrow, early morning we will for sure. No question about that, but we'll see. It all depends on what our weather does for us tonight. If it gets even heavier, then of course, guys, I will be back out doing some more stuff for y'all. Anyway, I love you guys. Thank you for everything. And I will talk to you later. It is February 20th, 2024 in beautiful Big Bear Lake pulling up to Stater Bros. Stater Bros. Alright. Peace out. Talk to you soon.